Isa sa mga cute na Hatsune Miku cosplayers I've ever seen. And later on, later on we'll be having, uh, I'll be having a copy of her photo, no? Ladies and gentlemen, one of the judges for Cosplay Idol Season 5, Cosmicon Edition, Raven! Come on over the stage. Our second panelist is very familiar to me. He's very familiar. He's been through a lot, and uh, as, uh, as uh, what we happened earlier, he is the uh, he's one of the judges for Cosplay uh, Cosplay Idol Season Five. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Ayan. All right. Let's welcome to the stage, Mr. Jason Tabuso. What? What? All right. And our last but not the least, I want you to call her name. She is our international guest cosplayer all the way from Vietnam. What's her name? Hindi ko kayo makinig. What's her name? Hanami! Hanami! Come on down! A round of applause for Hanami, ladies and gentlemen. A round of applause. Palapaka naman. Alright. So before we start our panel discussion, let me first say this. Uh, I hope it's correct. Chao Butoy, Chao Mong Den Bukok sa Philippines. Oh, thank you. I understand it. I I asked Google. I uh, asked Google to <laughs> to do it for me. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. And I I believe you're currently into Azure Lane these days. You're doing. Uh, you're cosplaying Laffy. Um. Yes. Um. But today. I'm cosplaying uh, Mechanic Red Riding Hood from Identity 5 game. Anyone who's familiar with Identity 5? Yes. They've had a collaboration with Persona, I believe. Yes. 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 All right. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, have a, uh, we'll be having uh, three questions. So first and foremost, uh, let's uh, start with Raven. All right, so uh, these are three sets of questions. So for you, uh, I'll be asking this to the others. Uh, no? What made you interested in cosplaying? What inspired you basically to cosplay? Yes. Um, for me, because I really enjoy dressing up. And like then I got into the Japanese fashion. And then I noticed anime and all of their costumes were like really pretty and originally designed. So I got into cosplay and then I started, first I started doing random original characters like OCs. And then I kind of got bashed for it at first. Yes, <laughs> I had the past like that. Then that made me like stick to canon characters. Canon characters characters that are produced, not the original characters. I see. So, uh, okay. Uh, how, uh, let's move on to Jason, by the way. I'll be asking the same question as I asked Raven earlier, before we proceed. What, what made you interested in cosplay? Uh, okay. Okay, interested in cosplay not only by costume. Then, syempre is, if you're an otaku, a fan of a game, a fan of an anime, or a movie, or anything a fictional characters is, Pag minsan, pag naga, minsan nagsisimula tayo sa nagagandahan tayo sa cosplay, hindi ko cosplay natin. Then, aside, then aside, is mamahalin din natin bigla yung characters niya. Like what I'm cosplay today is Goku. Actually, San Goku is one of my dream cosplay. I cosplay, bata pa lang ako, naglalaro pa lang ako ng text sa kapogs. Doon ko sinakay, doon, doon, doon ako nagsimula. So, nagkaroon ako ng passion na, na mahalin yung pagko-cosplay ko. Not only by cosplay, mahalin mo din yung character na kinakosplay mo. Kasi, wa, hindi ka lang basta kasi nagdi-dress up lang. 
para lang ipa ipakita sa sarili mo na cosplayer ka, ipakita mo sa sarili mo na kaya ko magsuot ng ganito. Na parang ano lang, para i-boost lang yung confidence mo. Hindi na ito basta pag-boost ng confidence mo. Is para din ito ma-boost kung gano'n mo kalab yung character na kinakosplay mo. Yun yung nag, ano sa akin kaya, nag-interested ako naman patuloy sa cosplay. Then I do mini cosplay na rin like cloth, cloth type armor type, especially I'm a fan of ito, Kusatsu, Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, or also na sa Power Ranger, even as special. Then yun, then hindi na sa characterization o yung mismo attitude ng character. Even the galaw, kahit ang paano is yung movements nila is ginagaya ko, although medyo mahirap talaga kaya yun. Pero wala namang magagawa, ay wala namang, wala namang masama kung itatry mo yung hindi mo kaya. Mali mo yung pala yung hidden talent. Alright, uh, for the benefit of Hanabi, what Jason said is that Son Goku is one of his dream cosplays and that he's also cosplaying to Kosatsu and he is not just cosplaying to uh, boost his confidence, it's more of an expression. Tama ba ako? Yes. I'm correct. All right. So Hanabi, I'll be asking the same question. What made you inter uh, interested in cosplaying? What inspired you? Yes. Actually, I'm growing up reading manga like Doraemon and Conan. Then, until one day, I watched One Piece anime. Since then, I'm into anime and manga. I watch it all day long, all day, all night. And until one day, I want to be like the character. I want to be like them. Then I discovered that cosplay the so to switch my, my dream. I began cosplaying since then. Alright, so bonus question for Hanabi. How long have you been cosplaying? Um, for almost 10 years. Since, 10 years, wow. Yeah, since 2008, I began cosplaying original character. But uh, until 2009, I uh, cosplaying my first properly character, which is um, Rin Kagamine from Vocaloid. Vocaloid. Anyone, any fans of Vocaloid here? Alright, okay. So, um... Since you're from Vietnam, how is the cosplay community in Vietnam? Really, really huge. Yes, really huge. Uh, otaku and anime, manga fans, um, there's a lot, a lot of them. Can you mention a major event in Vietnam that is related to cosplay? Um, there are four season festival called um, Aki Masuri, Fuyu Masuri, Natsu Masuri, those season are the biggest event. If you come to Vietnam, come to when their uh, four season festival. I promise it's really huge event there. So this happens every season, so like four times a year. Nice, nice. All right, maybe, maybe I, I've been to Singapore before uh, for CT Alpha Singapore and I was like, uh, I think I'm going to start expanding my perspective by going to different countries. Uh, by the way, uh, anyone here who's going to Cebu for ArtCon, November? Cebu, yes, yes. Someone over there is going to Cebu. See you there. Alright, so uh, let's move on to our next segment. How has cosplay helped you in your life? How cosplay has contributed to you as an individual? What uh, has cosplay done to you? Let's start with Raven. Um, for me, cosplay really boosted my confidence. Like, at first, I'm what you call a weeb. Like, I used to watch and read manga. I used to watch anime. And then, I'd just be like a closet cosplayer, like wearing all those netaso, what you call. And then, I'll be wearing them and modeling them myself. But then, when I started cosplaying, I learned about makeup. I learned about, like, making yourself fit for the character you're trying to cosplay. I learned about that, and then when people liked my cosplay, it really boosted my confidence since I was really shy at first. I like your Hatsune Miku. Thank you. <laughs> right, uh, speaking of Fiatasa, it's excess fabric that you can buy. We have the fabric capital here in the Philippines. It's called Tai Tai, but it's, uh, it's, it's on the other side of, the, uh, it's on the east side. We're on the south side of Metro Manila, so that's on the east side. Uh, that's for your consideration, I guess. Uh, okay, uh, Jason, the same question. How cosplay has helped you as an individual? 
First of all, cosplay is one of my hobby and my... Tagalog na lang. Oh, sige, sige, sige. Okay lang, okay lang. I got to say for you. Ayun, ang um, cosplay is... Yung una, hobby ko lang libangan ko. Aminado ko, pag nasa loob ka ng cosplay is... Nakakatakas ka ng konti sa mga problema mo sa reality. So, hindi naman yun sa pagtakas talaga. It is, yung parang kahit na parang kalimutan mo siya. To refresh your mind and body, then bali mo after the cosplay na gagawin mo is masolve mo na ako ng problema sa yan. Then yun, is, then dumating sa time na sobrang nakahelp sa akin yung cosplay by, una is by winning for some contest, yun. Actually, I'm proud na ang first cosplay contest ko na napanunod is one of the event of Red Cloud Interactive and CPH, which is the Otako Encore Cosplay Idol 2013. Ang first character ko na palalunan doon is Kakuzu from Naruto Shippuden. Ay, isa sa mga Akatsuki. So, nag-try ako doon. Doon nagsimula yung nagsinusunod yung panalo ko. Then, natuto ko mag-crop by using carto. Then, now I'm using rubber sheet. Then, may nagpapa-empty yung sami, nagpapa-made order, nagpapagawa ng armor, nagpapagawa ng props. Then, so on, naging... May mga, may mga gigs, mga event like mga openings na kailangan na ng cosplay attraction. Then, ang pinaka-greatest achievement ko is I have an TV appearance for, of being a, cos, a cosplayer. So, na-featured ako sa many, many show in the TV like Kung Lagi Kay Ganda, Unang Hirit, KMJS, then especially the AHA. Uh, I've been featured two times in AHA by cosplaying Monkey the Luffy and Bleach, noong time na finiture nila yung anime na Bleach and One Piece. Then, yun. Then, sa cosplay, salamat din ako dahil sa cosplay ko nakilala yung aking mga pangasawa. Nandun, yung nakaupo doon. <laughs> Diyan ko nakalala siya. Then, yun. Sobrang nakahim sa kanya ko. Then, until now, until sa huli, mas pinakawali, hindi ko iiwan ng cosplay. Because this is not only my passion, this is not only my career, this is my life. So, for the benefit of Hanabi, what he said was that uh, there's this thing called escapism, you know, you escape from problems. And Jason is uh, somehow uh, escaping his life through cosplay. And through cosplay, he has done a lot. So, he has, been, he has appeared on TV, he has appeared on... Uh, I, I, I mean, it's, he's also a crafter, you mean... That that wig over there, that's I believe that's made out of rubber, rubber, right? It costs spaces life, that's what he said. So that's uh, also in Cosby he has met his loved one, future wife. A round of applause. Congratulations. Hanabi is congratulating you in advance. All right, so Hanabi, uh, same question. How has cosplay helped you in your life? Yes, um, because of cosplay that I learned a lot of new things. I learned how to um, like edit my photos. I do take my photos for my friend. I some, uh, sometimes make my costume that, and I do my own makeup that I learned a lot of new things to fit the character for cosplay. Besides, um, now I'm working as a professional cosplayer that I can able to travel around. Like, um, um, I, I can able to travel around to a lot of other cities, like to different cities, like to Philippines, I'm able to meet you guys. Yes, it's a wonderful experience. I think uh, if we extend this conversation further, you will learn more about the cosplay community because uh, personally, I've been here almost a decade now. So by November, I'll be celebrating my 10th year. The, uh, there's a lot of events. Basically, almost every month, there's uh, a lot of events here. And there are four major events here. Ozine Fest, so that's from Otakozine. The next one is ToyCon, the Philippine Toy Convention, uh, which is being held in Pasay, which is quite a bus ride plus two from here. Uh, there's uh, Best of Anime, the Best of Anime Convention, and there's Cosplay Mania. Have you heard, uh, of course, I believe you've heard about Cosplay Mania, right? Yeah. 
Alright, All right. so uh, that's our Four Seasons events yes, this year. Yes, if you have Four Seasons, we yes, have Four Seasons too. Really, yes. <laughs> it's, it's not necessarily Four Seasons, but there are also events that are sprouting here and there. Especially this November, especially this Cosmic Con. This, uh, this has been held for like... Dave, ilang taon na ba yung uh, ilang taon na ba itong Cosmic Con? Ilang taon na Cosmic Con? It's, this, it's the third Cosmic Con and it's being held here in Alabang. So this, this is the hometown, perhaps, yes. of Cosmic Con. Yes. Right. Alright, so let's, uh, let's focus uh, from our lives to the lives of perhaps everyone here who's in, who might be interested in cosplay, who are cosplaying already. So, do you recommend cosplay as a hobby? Well, for starters, I mean, other people, they wouldn't really think of cosplaying as a hobby because they think it's too expensive. But if you really love it, you can just save up for it. Like, magipunan mo, tapos compassion mo talaga yun. Ayun, sundin mo. Hindi yung, if not, kasi hindi ka magtatagal kung wala kang passion for something eh. So yeah, passion runs everything. Uh, but hey, uh, speaking of budget, uh, can you give us a figure or, <laughs> or how how do you save up on cosplay? Um, basically, kasi for cosplaying, it helped me like save up and earn money from fixing wigs. I run also a wig fixing service because of cosplay. I learned how to fix wigs, sew, make wig covers. Yes, and not. Not every cosplayer can fix their own wig, so they have to <laughs> seek assistance of someone, anyone, anyone who's uh, who's doing well. And you're doing your business is doing well, perhaps. Yeah, every per month. <laughs> every per month, every month, especially the con season. We actually have five days of events here, and it's spearheaded by the ones at OZ and, and Cosplay that page, Cosplay Mania. So we have Cosplay Matsuri and uh, OZ Fest Anime Figure Special, running from like basically five days. Five days, in five days cosplay event. Two, OZ has two days, and then the following after that, cosplay Matsuri, five, uh, three more days, and then we end the uh, year with a bang. New year. So, uh, in case of Jason, I believe uh, you uh, you mentioned that you're making crops. So, yeah, but the uh, question is, do you recommend cosplay as a hobby? Yes, I, I recommend cosplay as a hobby. Why? Why? Because... Yeah. Is cosplay. Nice ang cosplay is hindi lang siya. Go Jason. Ano, makakaiwas din tayo sa pagko-cosplay. Yung sa mga magsisimula pa lang sa pagko-cosplay. Lahat naman ng gawain sa mundo is mayroong bad and good effects. So, balance lang natin yung kuha ng ginagawa natin. Then, yun nga is kung natin Huwag lang tayong cosplay ng cosplay kasi nakakasama din yun sa atin. Baka mamaya nagpapagubayaan mo yung pag-aaral mo o yung trabaho mo. So, ayun, cosplay is part as an hobby. Then yun nga, kaya ni sabi ni Miss Raven is magastos ang pag-cosplay. Hindi na siya basta magastos. Nakakapagod. Then, nakakaubos din siya ng oras. Then, yun. Sa akin, ako ang minado ko minsan, naaabuso ko yung sarili ko by doing cosplay. Minsan, nag-overview ko sa pagka-crowd, hindi natutulog, then kinabukasan mo ko contest, then suddenly, yun, medyo aatakihin, matayin. Huwag na huwag nung gagawin yun. Although, hindi maiiwasan, pero as long as possible, gawin niya na mas maaga. Yun lang. Basta yun, ang cosplay is, enjoy niyo lang. Gawin niyo siyang passion. Kasi pag na-depress ka kagad sa pag-focus ng profit, binubuli ka. Like me, ako. I'm cosplaying San Goku. Lately, may, ayoko. Lately is maraming nang buli sa akin bakit napakapayat ko. Nagdadrags daw ba ako? And I said yes, because San Goku is my favorite character. And idadaan ko yun sa kung ano yung character niya. Isa sa buhay ko. Kaya, bago mo ko naitin, panoorin mo muna ako sa stage kung paano ako gumawa. Alright, okay, so for benefit of Hanabi again, uh, please recommend the cosplay as a hobby, but then again, it's not the top most priority because there's work and stuff. I believe you're, you're working. And uh, uh, don't cram your costumes. Don't basically don't cram. 
he's, he's always, uh, he's, uh, sometimes he's, he cramps his cosplay to a fault. So he's having, you know, some health problems, but uh, yeah. Yeah, you still okay? You still okay? Okay. Yeah, but uh, yes, he's, he does recommend it. But, and uh, regardless of the physique of the body, uh, if you love your character and you perform well on stage like what he did earlier, uh, it's, it's all good, it's all good, so it's fine. Ayun, added ko lang, sa mga nagubuli sa pagkukospe dahil hindi daw angkop yung katawan, hindi daw sexy, or bakit sexy ka pero mataba yung cosplay mo, is, ano mo lang, huwag kang madown na ay, ayoko na mag-cosplay, ayoko na, mag ayoko na ng ganito, ayoko na ng ganito, which is, nabuli ka, gawin mo next time, gawin mo mas better, andun yung ipakita mo sa kanila na, Ah, binubuli nyo ko ngayon. Ipapakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung kaya ko. Ganun lang po. So, uh, he has detractors. Uh, people who do not like what he is cosplaying. Uh, and uh, he is proving what he got on stage. So, he's uh, suggesting, recommending to everyone who has the same experience as him to do the same. To prove the haters, the naysayers from. Right, so, yes, the question is, uh, do you recommend cosplay as a hobby? Hanabi, please. Well, I must say that cosplay is really expensive hobby. Everyone agree with me, right? Yes, yes. So, my suggestion is, if you can't afford, able to afford, um, like, no, too many cosplay for a month or a year, just focus on one character that you like the most like because if you like something already it can't be help you like it right you want to do it so just do it just do it it's your hobby but like if you are short on money then just focus on one character problem instead of doing many characters Alright, uh, I think uh, I'm not a cosplayer, but I can relate because I have friends who are doubling down, uh, if I say so myself, doubling down, uh, doing one cosplay, at least one cosplay a month. So, uh, depending upon your financial resources, depending upon your willpower to pursue the cos costume plan, the cost plan, it's up to you to manage yourself. So, uh, I believe we're all on the same page here. Every one of you are recommending cosplay, but in moderation. Because cosplay is a privilege. Am I correct? Yeah. Right, so, I'm opening the floor to two people. I, sorry, pa extend po ako mga five minutes lang for questions. Okay, we're good. All right, any one of you want to ask uh, the panel of questions. Please come to the stage. Or else I will just be adding more info. Guys, na kayo. Alright. Okay, so uh, since we've come to the point that I believe everyone I everyone naintindihan niyo yung ano buong discussion. Okay, wala na kayong tanong. Sure, kayo! They don't have any questions anymore. So, alright. So, if none, I guess that's about it. And again, welcome to the Philippines. I, that's what I said earlier, huh? Yes, and uh, yeah, speaking of going to different places, I have to sneak in this question. Um, which countries have you visited so far? Mostly in Saigon Vietnam. Uh, other than Vietnam, I have visited Bangkok. Bangkok and then Manila and I will also visit other cities in the future. Other cities like Singapore, right? Yes, of course. See you maybe next year. Uh, I'm going to Cebu. It's, it's a plane ride from Manila but it's still part of the Philippines. But yeah, Cebu, Cebu, um, every city, uh, every cosplay community that I've been through, Cebu, Baguio, Manila, Davao, like what I uh, mentioned earlier, they all have different uh, different sets of things. 
they have uh, drama, they have issues, but what's underlying above that is that it's a cosmic community and everyone is there to have fun. And uh, yeah, pretty much sums up, yes. We have here David uh, asking one more question, one last question, yes. I don't know if you're actually talking about it. Maybe for other audience, audience, I would uh, ask some of our cosplayers here on uh, Nandito how cosplay helped them. Would that be okay? Uh, probably let's ask this uh, uh, Kenshin. Kenshin? Hi, bro. How about this guy? So, what's your name? Yung tanong, pwede ka may translate and Paano ba nakatulong yung cosplay sa'yo? How did cosplay help you as a person? Tulad din ang sinabi ni Jason. Dapat pala, hindi na ako nagkaroon. Tulad din. Ah, ah, okay. Minsan yung mga uh, problema natin sa lugar natin, nililimutan natin. So, he's saying that, just like what Jason said, uh, cosplay helps us forget about the problems in life. So, the thing is, it's not only beer and liquor that could help you forget problems. You should also try cosplay, right? Cosplay is better, way better than doing drugs. Right? Yes, 100%. Maybe <laughs> be good, huh? I could have asked the kid, but he's too young. Malay mo sa cosplay ka magka-love life. Ayun, ito, ito, ito. Hi, Miss, how are you? Hi. Can I ask you a question? Ayun ko. Ay, Miss, Miss ka ba, Miss? Miss ka, Miss. Ah, so what's your name? Ryu. Ryu. So how did cosplay help you as a person? Parang naitulong sa'yo. Sa, pa, uh, sa ng maraming friends. Kasi most likely, sa bahay lang ako like, introvert. Hindi ako nagpag-usap sa kahit ka din. Tapos yung pinaka-close friends ko, niyaya ko mag-cosplay. Tapos, ayun po, hanggang sa naging itong sa cosplay na rin pa ako, naging mahilig ko na sa cosplay. Sa masalisayan na rin pa ako ng gabi. Tapos, nagsimula na rin po dumami yung mga so she's telling that uh, you're, you're, uh, she's an introvert, so cosplay helps her to have uh, more friends. And since formerly she was always at home, but now she's enjoying event with uh, her friends. Last last question, thank you. Ito from UK pa to. Yes, yes, please. Yes. Please. You're from, not from the Philippines, right? You're from Europe, so I'll ask you. Hi, Charlie. Yeah. Cosplay from, uh, you know, the Adventure Time, right? Yeah, I think, I forgot the name, but it's voiced by Tom Kenny. Ice King. Ice King. Ice King. Ice King from Adventure The name, Charlie Berlin. You find me on Facebook, charlie.berlin.3. Many, many Facebook albums. And one special one called Male Cosplayers. So it's not the usual mix, girl, 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 girl. Oh, here I am in the back. Girl, 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 girl. Oh, look, two boys, yeah? It's only men. Male cosplayers. So if you, if I take a photo of the man, I, it's in this, it's in this folder. Maybe 600, 500, 600 for me. Wow. And so thank question. You, wait, wait. And thank you very much, David, for all your work. Thank you for this, so we all can come for free here. Thank you for Naruto Day. I think Fisher Mall, you were also involved. Yeah. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. We do fantastic thing for the cosplay community. Thank you. And the question for you is how did cosplay, you're still cosplaying and doing photography, how did cosplay help you as a person? It makes me feel very, very well. First time I came to Manila, I came for five days. This was my first, first contact with cosplay. Now I came for one month, already for the fourth time. And I enjoy every day. And thank you, the cosplayers.
Thank you, the Philippine people. Thank you, Manila. Marami din sa lahat. Alam mo kasi, I'll be guilty with him before, nung topic natin kanina. When I first, I wrote an article about him, I actually judged him as a person. You know, the way he looks, the way he took pictures. I wrote an article asking about what's his intention. And then I realized when I talked to him, that what you see from afar is not actually how he is as a person. So I stand correct. That's why in, in our events, technically, and that's what I'm proud of in our events, everyone is welcome here. That's why I like the discussion, how cosplay helps your life, because in all of our events, we always uh, make sure that everyone is welcome. Even if you have an issue, you have done something wrong, we always believe that you can always be a better person. All right, okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, all right. All right, so uh, for a closing note on my end, uh, Cosplay helped me as a person. Again, it's been almost 10 years since I'm here in this community. I stuck with the Cosplay community. I, I was supposed to go to the idol community, you know MNL48? MNL48, uh, you, you have a sister group in Vietnam, right? SGO48. Yes, but yes, I was almost going there, but then again, my heart is with Cosplay really is with cosplay. Taking photos, going to places, it's been a wild ride and uh, whatever happened to me, I believe there's a reason for it. So whatever happened to us, you've been criticized before, you've been criticized harshly before. I believe you, had a, you have a fair share of criticisms before. Yeah. Alright, so whatever happened to us, we're still alive and kicking and we're here, we're here, and we're, we're, we're doing this discussion. So, we hope that everyone who is watching this, not just on stage, not just here in the audience, but also on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, this is how cosplay has helped us. Any final words from Raven? For me, I think you should just enjoy cosplaying, even if sometimes you feel down, like, it could help you the stress too, like you would put yourself into another character and like be that character for a day, enjoy it for a day, and then the rest could be history. And then when you go back home, it will be like nothing happened, but you feel happier about yourself, you feel better about yourself, and then sometimes you forget your problems like that. So just enjoy cosplay as it is. Jason. Enjoy cosplaying because cosplaying is... Ay, nang bago cosplay ay parang isang gawad, parang isang parasite ako. Nakaka-relieve to ng pain sa atin once nandadaan tayo ng lulukod or nakaka-relieve tayo ng kahit anong hinanakit sa buhay. Then yun, balansihin mo lang ang buhay mo bisang, bilang isang cosplayer dahil una sa lahat, bago ka napasok sa magkakosplay nito, may mga una ka pang hinang gawad. Then, ayun, love your cosplay passion, love your character, and sa lahat, ng mga cosplayer na nakakaranas ng criticism, ng especially ng pagpubulis, i-come up nyo lang. Although masakit, nakakalungkot, pero it will help us para mas tumapang tayo, mas mag-boost yung confidence natin to continue our path to being a cosplay, cosplayer, not only a cosplayer, to being a better person. Alright, so for uh, the benefit of everyone, uh, what he says basically, cosplay is a pain reliever, and whatever happened, whatever criticism that you have, just take it and then uh, use it to become a better cosplayer and a better person. Alright, any final words from you, Hanabi? I have an advice that, well, you cosplay for yourself, right? You're not cosplaying for others. So just don't care about the haters, yes, don't care about them, just enjoy it, because you're cosplaying for your hobby, not others. I think that's one thing that people need to realize, cosplayers need to realize that first and foremost, they are escaping from the realities, the harsh reality of life, and they're doing this for themselves. It's okay to be quite selfish, if I say so myself. We have to love ourselves. Cosplay as a hobby is a way for people to love themselves by expressing themselves into the character that they love. And 
Uh, with that said, Hanabi, can you tell us where can we find you online? Well, you can search for my page, uh, which is Hanabi on Facebook. Besides, I also use Instagram and Twitter. You can search Hanabi Cosplay uh, or you can come to my booth over there. There will be a link to uh, all of my uh, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Right, Jason, where can we find you? Sa, sa mga cosplayer na gusto magpagawa sa akin ng armor, ng mga props, then uh, just search my name, Jason Tabuso, or just search my cosplay page, which is the name is Hikari Cosplay Crafting Shop. So, just PM me lang, then mag-negotiations tayo about your cosplay props or costume na gusto magpagawa sa akin. And that's it. And lastly, Raven, Academic.com. <laughs> yes, for me, you can reach me at my page, um, Apocalypse. And then I have a Facebook account, which is Raven Rachel Rock. I believe Raven Rachel Rock is another name for? A character in Teen Titans, right? Oh, yeah, I got it from Teen Titans, because she's my favorite character. So, secretly, Hanabi, secretly, Raven is. Um, Actually, I want to cosplay Raven in the future. I'm planning to cosplay her. <laughs> Brilliant. If you visit here in Manila and then you tap her, do you have that as a cosplay? I'm not sure because I'm not sure if I can take the face paint and gray skin, but ah. if I have the means, I might do it in the future as well. Alright, so with that said, thank you very much for listening and watching to this panel. Last but not the least, let's have a selfie. Keepsakes, Jay Agonoy Keepsakes. Follow me online at jagonoy.xyz. I will also be uploading this conversation as yeah. a podcast and as a video on YouTube and on anchor.fm slash keepsakes. Uh, updates lang, ano? Uh, I will be going live occasionally at Dungeon Akiba in Mandaluyong City. I will send you updates on my Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash keepsakes by Jay. So that's about it. Magami salamat and we will see you soon. Yes, thank you very much. So up next we'll be rumbling the winner for the lightsaber. Yes, for the lightsaber, we will call on the 